Okay, thank you so much for joining me on the show today, Adama. Let's first look at how this week has been so far. Okay, um, for this week, on the FX, well, um, I'll start with the interventions. Like you said, the CBN is conducting the retail auction today, and they have actually been sustaining the market with their usual interventions. About 210 million was sold to them this week for the wholesale and SME and invisibles. And then <coughs> they have actually um, continued with their various interventions. And then we move over to the I and E. Um, well, the Naira has been a bit under pressure because of the paucity of um, the dollar in the market. And, you know, with the latest out of what has been going on, like first news in Nigeria, coronavirus, and other um, market activities, traders have been, the PFIs have been quite cautious mm. and then, you know, in injecting funds into the system. So we have seen a bit of drop in the supply of dollars in the market. And as such, we have seen our rates go as high as 365 to 366. Mm. Some trades are traded at 366. And as of yesterday, the I and E closed at 365.22. So we have seen an more of um, demand in the market more than the supply based on the recent um, activity. All right, let's get back to that retail auction and also the CBS intervention that you talked about um, earlier. You know, part of the concerns we've had so far is that people have always questioned how sustainable this asset policy will be, bearing the fact that we're seeing how much significantly the reserves have been dropping so far. What's your take on that? I know there are concerns right around that because the oil price has been dropping. And then, of course, we look at our reserves. It has also been dropping a little bit. But we actually um, have seen the CBN, you know, in putting a lot of confidence in the market, you know, coming out to say the they are really out to defend the Naira. Mm. So I feel that they will definitely find a way of maintaining the sustainability of these interventions in the market. Oh, okay, let's backtrack a little and look at what played out on Thursday. I understand there was an OMO auction. Yes. And how, how was that subscribed? Yeah, it was heavily subscribed. But ideally, the, the rates came out um, um, at for the 89 and then 180 day and 364, it came out at 11.44, 11.55 and 13%. Mm. So um, we saw um, a bit of um, um, maintenance in the long term of view. And then when, um, the, based on the maturity of the auction, we found out that they sold only about 480 billion vis-a-vis -vis the 900, about 937 billion that actually matured in the system. So we saw a net credit into the system of about 426 million. So it actually boosted the liquidity in the market. Sure. And, yeah. All right, yeah, still I understand that also we had a PMA, primary action, market auction on Wednesday. You know, talk us through how that played out as well. Yeah, um, the surprise was actually at the long term of the 364 that came out at 5.7, vis-a-vis the 6.5 um, um, the previous week. So the um, stop rates at the night one day came out at three, while at the 182 they came out at 4%, and then we have the long term not built 364 day coming out at 5.7 billion. So we have a lot, we saw more of um, subscription and less offer, and that as such, we found out that because of the high demand on that sector, it actually mm -hmm. dips the rate down on the long term not. All right, liquidity kind of played a lot in the, how the markets was yes. in the ship this week. I would like to get how you see that, you know, playing out next week? Are we expecting more maturities coming in and you know how do you think the central bank is going to handle more pops? Today, this morning, the, um, the most banks were actually debited for the CRL, so it's a bit of a drop in the liquidity. Yeah. Um, we also see that the retail auction today, there will be also a debit in the system. Yeah. So we have started seeing the rate from 2.5%, 2%, 2.5% OBB overnight go as high as 20 to 25%. I feel that level will be sustained next week, given the drop in the liquidity until we have another inflow. We're expecting an OMO maturity of about 280 billion next week that might create a bit of respite in the market. How, so on the bond market, though, how are we looking at yields? So where are we seeing that activity? I'm looking at a bit of a drop in the yield because we see more bullish activities in the bond market. It traded bullishly this week because um, investors saw uh, a higher attractive yield and they played in that sector. So we saw more of the buyers than the sellers. And then the benchmark, up, um, um, benchmark rate, of, uh, the, sorry, the average yield on the benchmark bonds actually fell by 29 basis points um, to close at about 9.3% yesterday. Okay, so on the, on the FX now, we're looking at the Naira to the dollar. How's, how are we going to see that play out 
going into next week? I still think the Naira will still be under pressure because a lot of cautiousness is now in the market. Um, despite the OMO auctions as well, we see that um, the sustainability, the investors are being very, very cautious, seeing the oil price go down, seeing yeah. the reserves going down, seeing the coronavirus and other you know, economic concerns. I think there will be a lot of cautious, and as, as such, there will be a bit of liquidity squeeze in the market, and our rates will definitely be as high as 365, 366 levels. Okay, so what about the iron? You know, what, what are we seeing there? So that we've seen that, we've seen that um, demand has been kind of slow. So. No, no, no. The iron in window, the demand has been much higher than the supply. Okay. You know, that's what I really talked about. So okay. we see that the rates uh, might see a slight depreciation, given what is happening, you know, economically right now and what the investors are actually perceiving. So we may not see so much of flows in the market in the iron e window. But for the other windows, like the SMIS window, yeah. I still feel CBM will continue to intervene in that market and there will be a bit of stability. So what should investors look for to next week? Well, um, investors should look at probably a weaker Naira. Yeah. Um, then we we'll see like a bit of um, um, on the um, market side, on the fixed income space, we we'll see um, well, we we'll see like a, um, a drop in yield in the bond space. You know, given that most players are moving up to that side, we we'll see a lot of bullish trends. So we we'll see a bit of um, a drop in the on, yeah. in the a, a drop in the yield in the bond space for the treasury bills market. Um, we we'll see the in and out of the market, investors going in and out. Um, we we'll see um, we hope to have an OMO auction next week, so we expect the investors to come also and play in that market as well. All right, thank you so much for your time on the show today. I've been speaking to Adama Umbachu, the team lead for currency trading at Access Bank.